Welcome to World Box. So the new update came out, and with it came a bunch of new biomes. We got eight different biomes now. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make islands for all eight biomes, put an equal amount of people on each of them, and then after uh, maybe a hundred years, we'll have them fight and see which one of them did the best. Basically, which biome is the most prosperous one to live in? All right, let's make one, two, three. Okie dokie. Grass seeds, savannah. I'll tell you one thing for sure. I don't think the corrupted biome is going to win this. Or the swamp, honestly. Can they even exist in the swamp? Oops. Oh no, I'm so stupid. There we go. Let's pretend I didn't do that. Okay, we've got our eight islands. I'm thinking we're just going to do humans on all of them. Before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, make sure there's trees on all these. Let's give them some plants. Give them some berry bushes so that they don't die of starvation. Let's give them some rocks. I don't care. I'm thinking we just do like maybe 10 each. 10. Oh no, we got too many. I'm so sorry. I don't know how this is gonna happen. Let's put them on the land over here. I mean, this obviously is part of the test. I don't think they can even do anything in the swamp. That crew is gonna have a really rough time. Okay, we got 10 on each. All right, we got the villages popping up here. And as expected, these poor, poor people that were selected to start in the swamp, they can't do anything. So we already know the answer there. They will not be winning this thing. I'm surprised to see that they don't even go in the water. Obviously, I don't expect them to be able to build in the water, but like, what happens if they go in the water? They just swim around? Panic? You get to the nearest land? Okay, well, they're hopeless. A fire broke out? Did they get in a huge fight with the rhinos? What happened there? Okay. Savannah's struggling a little bit. We obviously know how the grass biome behaves, so there'll be no surprises there, probably. Mushroom biome, doing well. Looking good. Corrupted biome is actually doing okay so far, but you can see it's starting to happen. We're getting the skeletons. Our people are all cursed. I'm really curious to see if they can even make a civilization in here long term um the infernal biome it looks like they all died probably from the fire dudes uh yeah so that not good i know that humans can expand into the infernal biome we've seen it in some previous videos but i guess if you start there when you're not established yet you just get wiped out so good to know Jungle biome, they got a village of 13, a village of 9, doing pretty well. I guess the monkeys aren't really a threat, so... Wait a minute, the monkeys were attacking the crops, did you see that? Did he just fling poo? Yeah, dude, look, the monkeys attack the crops, or I guess they eat the crops. Okay, well, that's that will be a problem for them long term. Yeah, Swamp is now dying of starvation. Sorry, guys, you did not deserve it. You lost before the game even started. Enchanted biome is looking good, with over 30 people there. Pretty much all the ones that are livable are all seemingly growing at the same rate. They're all about 30, but corrupted, they're still growing. Like they started with 10, they got 18 now. So they're, they're growing, but you can tell corrupted biome is turning on them hard. And I'm pretty sure they will eventually be wiped out. Yeah, look at that. You can already see it happening. Not a good place to live, guys. I don't know why you picked to live here. You either die a human or you live long enough to see yourself become the skeleton. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Savannah's officially gone. The people are wiped out. Prevent forest fires. Dang. Yeah, it's rhino land now. Grassland's doing fine. These four nice biomes are all pretty evenly matched. It depends on your perspective, but like, I mean, corrupted biomes population is pretty high. It's just, you know, skeletons and ghosts now. I don't think the skeletons reproduce, right, guys? Uh, don't think about that too much. I'm a little bummed, honestly, about the swamp. I love how it looks, like I said, but I kind of wish that there was some sort of, like, raised buildings they could make. You know, like, houses on stilts. I don't know. It seems more or less like a useless biome uh, for people because they don't go in the water and they can't build. It's just kind of like a border. It just makes, like, an impassable area. But love how it looks, so it does still serve a purpose. These people are just looking great. They're ambitious. They're Hashtag blessed doing fantastic. I'd say it's honestly still an even split between everything I would I think these two are doing the best the enchanted biome and the grass biome the jungle and mushroom forest are Still doing well, but they're definitely behind by a good 10 or 20 population. I don't know I guess the monkeys are really slowing down the uh, yeah Look at the monkeys have straight up invaded the village They're just waiting for the crops to grow and as soon as they grow they just snatch them tough life Mushroom people, 
doing well. They just have fancy colored sheep to deal with. It's pretty much just a contest between enchanted versus grass plains. So we'll probably just have those two fight. Let's give them another 50 years and we'll uh, make them fight. Year 100. I know they didn't really go for 100 years because the we didn't start at year zero, but who cares? What are you gonna do? Call the police. The islands all teamed up, obviously. Actually, these two are still different kingdoms. Interesting. Jungle comes in last place with just over 300 population. Mushroom Forest did about 350. Not too bad. And Grasslands actually takes the top with almost 500 population. Well, Enchanted Forest just barely broke 400. Here's what we do now. We connect. Let's go ahead and make sure that they fight. They, these mobs are always so happy when you do this. They're like, finally, something to do. They are not ready for this fight. What are they doing? They're all over here? Oh, whoa, they're branching out to the savannah over here. Let's make this pathway a little bit smaller. Shall oh, here we go. This is it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Why? I think at this point, we should just get rid of all the other islands because I don't want them to, like, be trying to take over the other islands. You did your darndest. We can leave them over here. That's okay. I don't Aww. mind that. Oh, wait, no. The mushroom people. The mushroom people. Good gracious, they're coming. Oh, no. Okay, they're fighting now. No, oh, the rhinos are swimming over. Okay, this is a little bit of a mess. But as far as population goes, we already kind of have a winner. We know that the grasslands was the best for growing a population. I would say for combat reasons, uh, being in the enchanted forest and getting blessed makes you uh, more able to stand your ground in a fight. You just might have less population than grasslands. So I was kind of curious to see how they would do against each other. But, oh, look at that. Yeah, they just took it all over. Yeah, well, there you have it. The uh, blue took over the uh, other ones. So... So like I was saying, it seems like Grasslands is the winner for population, but the Enchanted Biome, since it gives everyone the blessed trait, even if you have less population, you're technically better in a fight. You don't necessarily need as much population. So there you have it. The Swamp Biome is unlivable. The Infernal Biome, it's a place you can expand into, but don't start there. And then Corrupted Biome, from what I've seen, Corrupted Biome just kind of like, you just die if you go there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what else you want to see. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.